Hi guys, so today I am going to be unboxing La Boom's Fresh Adventure. I have not unboxed any La Boom albums. I don't think I've even talked I've even talked about how much I love La Boom and their music, but I really, really do and yeah, I ended up caving and buying this album and I'm going to try and collect the rest of the discography just because I really, really enjoy their music a lot. And Honestly, I like a lot of underrated girl groups. Um, I like a lot of underrated groups in general, but La Boom has to be one of the most underrated groups that I love, and it breaks my heart because, like, their songs are leg are just such gold. They're so good. I honestly love their songs so much, and it just makes me sad that they don't get more love because, yeah, great songs. Um... I really love this album. It's probably my favorite of all their albums, um, but yeah, so, which is why I decided to get it. So it's their fourth single album, and it has um, five tracks, four tracks technically, and one instrumental. And they are intro, um, Sang Sang Toagi, which is uh, Fresh Adventure, which was the title track. Um, uh, three Strike Out and Caterpillar. Honestly, the entire album is amazing. Amazing. Um, I really, really like um, the title track, Fresh, Fresh Adventure or Sang Sang, Sang Sang Doagi. And I really like Three Strike Out. I also like Caterpillar. Um, but um, yeah, those are probably my favorite, but like not by much because this album is just incredible. Um, yeah. All I have to say, I didn't actually listen. I'm pretty sure it comes with a card. Let me just take it out. Yeah. Right. Um. And let will just go through this, I guess. Yeah, I didn't listen to this um, when it came out for some reason. I just, I think I was going through, like, this time when I wasn't really listening to a lot of K-pop because I was really obsessed with Hamilton for a while and um yeah I wasn't listening to as much K-pop and I think this that was around the time when this album came out so I just didn't listen to it um but then I I don't know just I finally got around to listening to this entire album and I loved it so much yeah and I've honestly had my eye on La Bum since, like, I think, Otokale, or are, what are you gonna do? Um, I remember I watched their state, one of their stages for it. I really liked the choreo, I thought it was really cute, like, the mannequin, kind of doll-like choreo. And, um, I got interested because of that. And then I remember really, really liking, um, Sugar Sugar. Um, and then Alo, Alo, Alo. Um, I really liked that too. I really like, like, the retro vibe they have with that, with those two songs, because they were really, really nice, um, and really catchy. But yeah, then for some reason I just didn't end up listening to this album when it came out, and then I listened to it late, fell in love, um, and then I gave in. I just completely gave in. I was like, I, I want to support these girls in any way that I possibly can, and yeah, I just... I mean, that's why I bought their, um, I'm trying to buy their entire discography now because I just really, really, I just think they deserve it so much. Um, I also bought, um, their newest album, the Love Sign one, so I'll do an unboxing of that as well really soon. They're legit just all so adorable. Um, my bias is... I don't really have one yet. I feel like I'm leaning towards Yujong for some reason, so it's possibly Yujong. But, again, um, I don't really know. Speaking of Yujong, 
yeah, I'm not really sure because I do like Zian and I like um, Sobin as well. So, yeah, I'm honestly not sure. And then, oh, and that's cute. It's like a maze kind of thing. And then the CDs, and look how cute this is. It's so cute. I love the design. Okay, album, fourth single album, but yeah. The design is adorable. It just comes in this, um, yeah, like that. I don't know, I just think it's so cute. But yeah. Okay, it comes with a photo card, so I will get to that right now. And for the photo card, I got... I got Soyeon! Um, see, I'm not sure what to do with this. I mean, I think I want to trade it, but I don't know. I don't have, like, a set bias in the bum at the moment. So, um, but if you're interested in, um, in Soyeon's card, then, um, I will put my wish list in, um, the description box. And if you have anything, if you have anything there and you want to trade, I'd be happy to trade but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. Should I collect the Laboom cards? I feel like I collect too many cards that I just can't, but, um, I really like her hair in, um, the new, new comeback in the love sign ones. I just, um, yeah, shooting love, shooting love, I think it's Pyong Pyong. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I love blonde hair. I think she looks so cute with it, but yeah, this is it. Soyeon, Soyeon's card, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing for Love Sign, um, really soon, because I really, really love Love Em, and I am going to get every, I'm gonna get all their al other albums, um, I just, um, obviously have these two at the moment, um, this one and the Love Sign one, but yeah, I really love them, and I just want more people to love them too, because their songs are incredible and amazing, and yeah, they just deserve so much more love than they get. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.